Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lorraine Rose and if you're new here, please, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year and when I do, I'm going to be doing a big giveaway. So make sure you subscribe now so you can be a part of that giveaway and so you can be a part of my sweet growing YouTube family. For today's video, we are going to be making over our guest bathroom for under $300. I have not touched this bathroom since we have lived in our home <laughs> and we've lived in our home for over eight years and so that makes me feel like if we haven't touched it now, we probably won't touch it ever or ever get the amount of money I feel like we really need to totally gut this bathroom and do an entire makeover. So what I'm going to do is work with what we have and make it over on a budget and show you guys that you do not need thousands of dollars to make a space beautiful and then later on down the road my husband and I are going to make a few updates to this which I will talk about during this video but for now this is what we're working with so the first thing that you're gonna want to do when you make over any space is empty it out completely so that's what I'm doing now and that kind of helps give you an idea of what you're working with within the space and that really helps me in the design process to decide what I want to make over and to kind of look at my budget and to see you know what I can make over within that budget and so this is just a little tip I have for you empty your space out completely and then figure out what you want to do within that space you guys so I went ahead and I brought my sweet little broomy baby outside because my husband and I are going to be doing some projects in the garage but we're gonna have to work outside because dust just gets everywhere if we <laughs> cut wood inside the garage and anytime we work on a project I always like to bring our sweet dog outside with us so he can watch us while we work and also play in the grass <laughs> There he is over there, he's so cute. But the first thing that we are doing is cutting the wood for the board and batten wall that we are going to do in that bathroom, as well as the wood that we are going to place around the mirror in that bathroom. We're going to do like a wood frame mirror and then on both designs, we're gonna be doing a wood ledge. We had a lot of fun doing this project. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a beautiful day outside so anytime I know the weather is going to be beautiful and we have a project where we have to cut wood I always try to schedule it <laughs> according to the weather because I feel like it puts me in such a good mood as well as my husband when we're working in beautiful weather <laughs> but if you don't know what a board and batten wall is I'm sure that if you just searched it on Google or Pinterest hundreds of pictures would show up and I love board and batten walls because they're really simple easy ways to update your space on a budget and it was really inexpensive to purchase all the wood for this now I have a board and batten wall in my kitchen and then we have one in the front entryway and we are going to paint the board and batten wall in the guest bathroom the same color I did on those board and batten walls throughout my house I am using paint that we already have for this video so that was a huge savings and that's something I would recommend when you buy a house to use the same color palette throughout your entire home and that not only makes the home flow really well but it also saves you in the long run when you want to make over a space you'll most likely have you know almost a full gallon 
of that paint somewhere in your garage so you don't have to go buy it. But yeah, we're just cutting all the wood for this. And my husband actually added the wood ledge to the board and batten wall piece as well as the piece that's gonna go on the mirror on this day. And so while he was doing that, I just went ahead and I sanded the edges of all of the wood just to smooth it out really well. Now for the ledge part of each of the pieces that we're designing, we are just leaving that wood and then the rest of the board and batten wall we're going to paint. Like I said, that's that same color that's throughout my home. But the ledge right here, we're gonna just leave wood. Now in this video, I did not stain the wood around the mirror or on the ledge of the board and batten wall because I was not sure what stain I wanted yet. So I, I think the stain that we have in our home, I just, I don't think I want that for this bathroom. I want more of like a honey stain. <laughs> so I'm gonna go actually purchase that and stain it before the holidays. But yeah, I think that's okay. When you're working with wood, if you're unsure about the stain color, just give it a few weeks and just kind of mull it over before you make any <laughs> You know, like sudden changes because I feel like once you stain wood, that's it. It's kind of permanent. And then once we were done with that, we went ahead and we removed everything from the bathroom that we no longer wanted or that I was going to spray paint to reuse in this space. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to reuse this towel rack or not, so I went ahead and I spray painted it, but I didn't end up using it. But the items that we did end up spray painting and reusing were this toilet paper holder right here and the light fixture. And for these pieces I chose a chalk paint in like a pastel pink color and I'm gonna show you a little clip of this spray paint that I used in a moment but when we were at the store and I saw this spray paint my husband was like are you sure that you want to spray paint this pink <laughs> and I really was able to envision it and that's something that I am able to do. I'm able to look at really any space no, no matter how bad it is and if I have a picture of what I want it to look like I can really envision that and so it doesn't scare me to you know kind of try new things or do things that are a bit of a risk. <laughs> and I chose this pink color because the countertops in our bathroom we did not change for this makeover. That would have cost way too much money. And there is some pink in those countertops. And so instead of working against the countertops, I just wanted to work with them. And this pink is like the exact same color as the pink in our countertops. And I am in love with how it turned out. I feel like the light fixture ended up looking kind of a little like art deco to me correct me if i'm wrong but i was i was very impressed i loved how it turned out so if you want to paint a gold dated light fixture a really pretty color that will flow with the rest of your space don't be scared to do it because even though i will admit i was a little scared i'm so happy that i took a risk and so once I was done spray painting, I went ahead and I filled in all the holes in the walls and I removed the knobs from the vanity because that is another thing we could not afford to replace. And so I am going to paint the vanity the same color I'm painting the walls, which is white. And that's something I would recommend if you have an old outdated vanity, just give it a light coat of sand 
just sand it lightly, I mean, <laughs> and wipe it down really good with a dry rag and paint it the same color that you're gonna paint your walls. That way it will kind of look like it's just built in to the space. I just, I really loved the way that turned out. Now, I will say this, we are going to be saving up a little bit of money every month to put towards this bathroom. And I'm gonna tell you now the things that we will change in the future, but like I said, I am so happy with how this bathroom ended up turning out. But in the future, we are going to be taking that tub and that shower door out completely. And we're gonna be putting in a large walk-in shower. And right now, as you see, I am just spraying the walls with bleach and wiping them down before I start painting, <laughs> if, in case you're wondering. But yes, we are going to put a large walk-in shower, we are going to put tile on the floors, and we are going to completely change the vanity. We're going to remove it, we're going to put a new vanity with a farmhouse sink and a really pretty faucet. But other than that, everything else that we did in this bathroom, I am in love with and we will keep. But yes, in case you're wondering, that's what we will be doing in the future. Now that all of the walls are clean, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting. And so this is the color white that we already had. And whenever you paint, I don't know if it's just with white or if it's with all paint colors, but at least for me, before I, roll on the paint I always cut in so you're gonna want to cut in first and then roll now I did get a little bit of paint on the mirror but I was fine with that because we're going to be covering that up anyways with the wood frame that we're making for the mirror so yes I just started rolling which was super satisfying and very beautiful I'm so happy with the paint color and how it turned out Now I did not paint the bottom half of this wall white because I'm going to be painting that a different color, but now that I've got the first coat of paint on, my husband went ahead and he put the board and batten wall up for me along with the wood ledge at the top, so he is just doing that now. And then once I was done putting the second coat of white paint on the walls, I went ahead and I started putting the first coat of white paint on the vanity here. Now basically what I did was I took a paintbrush first and then I went over it with a roller and that just made everything look really smooth and even and I am in love with how this vanity turned out. I think it's so pretty and something that I will really love for a long time until we are able to replace this vanity, but I personally really like the way it turned out. I was very, very happy with it. <laughs>
And then once I was done putting the final coat of paint on the vanity, we hung up the wood trim around the mirror and he just used a special caulk to do that with. And then my sweet husband, he helped me paint the board and batten wall by cutting in for me first because he's just so good at that. And we went ahead and we painted the baseboards the same color we are doing the board and batten wall. And that's something I would recommend if you have old dated baseboards, instead of removing them and, you know, putting thicker baseboards in or more updated ones, just paint them the same color as your wall. And I feel like that creates such a beautiful flow on that wall and it just looks more updated. And so not only did we paint the baseboards, but we painted both doors and the trim in this bathroom as well. And then right here, as you see, we left the wood ledge wood. And like I said in the beginning of this video, I am going to stain that like a honey stain. I just didn't do that in the video. <laughs> and then the next thing that we did was we hung the shower curtain. Now, I not only wanted to show you guys how to do a bathroom on a budget, but I also wanted to show you how to do a bathroom in a few days to where it, it's not this huge project where you're having to like take down walls and remove bathtubs. <laughs> so we didn't even remove these shower doors. What I did was I purchased a curved shower curtain rod, which I will link down below. And I took the waffle weave white shower curtain from our master bathroom and I put it in this bathroom and I purchased a new shower curtain for our master bathroom because what I'm going to be doing um, here soon, stay tuned, is I'm going to be doing a little refresh in our master bedroom and bathroom and just get it ready for the holiday and add a few new things so stay tuned for that but Yes, we just put this shower curtain rod a little bit higher so you weren't even able to see the doors after we put the shower curtain rod and the shower curtain up. And this is just, you know, a quick, easy fix. And I love, love the way that it turned out. And once we got the shower curtain rod up, we went ahead and we hung these beautiful hearth and hand wall hooks up on the wood ledge of the board and batten wall to hang the new towels up on that I purchased for this bathroom makeover. And I am just so happy and so pleased with how this bathroom makeover turned out. I will make sure to link everything that I purchased for this bathroom makeover down below for you just to kind of give you an idea of how much we spent. I know it was less than $300 because that was the budget my husband gave me. <laughs> and the next thing that we did was we added, I think it's called a transition from the bathroom onto the wood floors that we have running throughout our home. Just because as you saw, it was kind of like coming up off the floor and it just looked really bad. And like I said, eventually we are going to put a tile floor in here when we do the bigger remodel, but I just left the floor that was in there for now. I didn't wanna, you know, do, I was thinking about purchasing a peel and stick tile floor, but I'm like, eventually we're gonna tear that up too and put tile down. So I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna save my money in that area and use it in other areas. And then one thing my husband did was he just added caulk around the places in the bathroom that had little gaps in it and that just makes it look really clean and really neat and so yes see the little crack he just filled it in and he also filled in around the sink as well now I did leave the gold faucet on the sink just because 
Initially, I was going to spray paint that as well, but I thought that is just way too much work. We're gonna eventually replace it anyway, so I left it, and it actually kind of flows. It doesn't look horrible because the doors in this bathroom are gold. So, you know, it, it works for now. I wasn't mad about it. And then my husband went ahead and he put the same knobs that I already had for this vanity back on it. and. I didn't want to buy new knobs because I know that when we get our vanity, I'm going to want to buy new knobs for that vanity and since I don't know what that vanity looks yet, like yet, I didn't want to purchase knobs and I don't know how many drawers are going to be on that vanity as well so we just kept what we already had and then I had him hang another wall hook right here next to the vanity to hang a hand towel on. And then I went ahead and I sprayed the countertop with bleach. There were a few paint droppings that got on this countertop, so I wanted to spray it with bleach and then scrub it really good with hot soapy water and wipe it all down. And while the bleach sat on that, I went ahead and I swept this space really well. <laughs> And I did spend quite a good amount of time painting the vanity, so it looks perfect. I am in love with this white paint color. I think it's so pretty. And then once I cleaned off the countertop, I went ahead and I steam mopped the floor. And you guys, I'm just in love. So these shower curtain hooks are so awesome because it has on one side you can hang your shower curtain and then on the other side you can hang your shower curtain liner and so I just love it. I'm going to link these little shower curtain <laughs> hooks down below for you and even though I took this shower curtain from our master bathroom, I will still link it down below for you guys so don't worry, I got you. I love the way this looks. I just feel like it's so elegant and so beautiful, and so timeless and pretty. And this color palette really goes well with the color palette throughout my home, so I'm very happy. And this plant, you guys, is fake. This is the most beautiful fake green plant I have ever purchased because I think it looks real. My friend was over the other day and I showed it to her and she said, I thought that was real. So I'm gonna link this down below. Please go purchase it for yourself. It is so beautiful. I am so happy with it. I just wanted to add something to this little ledge here, but I didn't want it to be cluttered. I just wanted it to be simple and beautiful. And you guys, I love that plant. And then I purchased these towels from Walmart. They were under $9 a piece and this same exact pink color matches my light fixture and my countertops to a T. So it just really helped pull from that dated countertop and I feel like it made the dated countertop look not as bad because it just flowed so well with the towels and with the light fixture. So I'm so happy that I decided to work with the countertop and not against it in this video and I'm just very happy with it. See, it's so it's so pretty now. <laughs> I'm convinced. <laughs> now I'm going to just do some last minute styling, but I love you guys so much. I hope this video was motivating and encouraging. Please comment down below if you have any questions or any comments. I would love your feedback. I even accept negative feedback on my channel because I want to hear your thoughts and your thoughts may be different than my thoughts and so please just be free to be yourself and comment what you like 
And I love you guys so much. And until next time, bye.